Now on the channel, our Jax Class Superstars deep dives continue with some Ringside Fest exclusives in the Hot Rod Roddy Roddy Piper, and of course, the mighty Yokozuna. The Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jax Class Superstars unboxing and review, kind of, with a twist, as we usually do. But today on the channel, we've got Jax Class Superstars, the Ringside Fest exclusive Rowdy Roddy Piper, and the Ringside Fest exclusive Yoko Zuna. But for all your modern-day wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Got to get a deal out there. And Ringside is going to come up in this video as these both being Ringside Fest exclusives. Of course, Ringside Fest still held every single year. Uh, the last one as of filming this video, as you guys know, I'm filming this in March of 2023. Patreon members get early access to these videos. Uh, we did have one at Hogan's Beat Shop with Hulk Hogan there, the Mega Powers 2-pack, all that kind of stuff. But back in the day, a lot of them were held in New York City, of course, close to Ringside, uh, Ringside Collectibles home base, home office, whatever you want to call it. And they would have Ringside Fest, and they would have an exclusive every single year. And Jax came up with some really good figures over the years. These two, kind of middle of the road, but we did have some better ones. But these ones are pretty good. Uh, Roddy Piper being the 2004 exclusive, and Yokozuna being the 2005 one. Some questions on this Yokozuna we'll get to, but of course, we'll start with old Hot Rod Roddy Piper right here. We'll start with this one. And this one is basically a direct re-release of his earlier classic superstars. Just changing the color of the shirt, changing the color of the kilt. And bam, there you go, you got a new figure here. Of course, one of 1,800, as you can see on the front. Ringside Fest 2004 sticker as well. So this is a fairly pricey one, a fairly uh, hard to get one after all this time. It's weird, the one of 3,000 Hot Rod figure seemed to hold more value than the one of 1,800, which I guess more people wanted that one than this one is what that tells you. But this one has really crept up in price over the last couple of years. But it is a lot of reuse, as you can imagine here, but a perfect exclusive for sure. Hot Rod on the side, they didn't want to change his t-shirt there. Obviously the white, the much more iconic, but I have a fondness for the black one as well. And that's what he's sporting with this one on the side, Rowdy Roddy Piper, of course. And on the back, the packaging is the exact same as the regular release there. Uh, even got the cross cell down below, the same ones, even showing that figure from that set there. UPC's warnings, tail of the tape, let's see what it says about our old friend, Rowdy Roddy Piper. 1972 was his debut, uh, 231 pounds, six foot one. finishing move, the sleeper. Titles, WWE Intercontinental Champion, WCW United, Cha United States Champion. Always the bridesmaid, old Roddy Piper. Favorite quote among many, it's time to pay the Piper. And he would say that to everybody he met, or probably not at all. Cross Cell, Junkyard Dog, Hillbilly Jim, Tito Santana, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Yokozuna, Rowdy Roddy Piper. A fabulous, well-varied lineup down here. I really did like that series back in the day. Heck, I still like it now. But we're going to put old Hot Rod off to the side here because I do have a loose copy already in my collection, so no, no need to open that one up. Accessories, of course, he does come with the Intercontinental title belt. This is the regular Jax Classic version. Really no frills about it. Really not my favorite. The deluxe ones are amazing. These leave a little bit of something to be desired, in all honesty. And then you do get the hot ride right here. Of course, he does have his black microphone. Makes sense for Roddy Piper. He should have a microphone. We've seen those before from Jax. Uh, but the hot rod looking fairly good. Like I said, it's the exact same figure we got before. The blue trunks, the blue knee pads. The RPs on the black boots, of course, got the same open hand, same gripping hand. Uh, the difference really is the t-shirt here with the hot rod t-shirt in black. Arm does go all the way around, bicep cut, single jointed elbows, back and forth side to side on the hands, back and forth side to side on the head. Waist articulation, of course, legs go up, knees bend, ankles back and forth, and that's it as far as articulation goes. Uh, he's not Spider-Man at the end of the day, but a good representation, and this is kind of what you look for for one-off exclusives, limited editions and stuff, because if you gave uh, the, the number one version of Roddy Piper as that exclusive, you're going to really upset your fan base. So a little bit of a paint change, and bam, you got a new figure, and not everybody would want this anyway, so it really is the perfect exclusive, uh, I think, in my opinion opinion at least but there's old Roddy Piper the 2004 exclusive for Jack's Classic Superstars now we turn our attention over to Yokozuna the 2005 exclusive Classic Superstars figure 
And this one's got a little bit of controversy with it. As Yokozuna here in his uh, kimono, I believe that's what that's called, also comes with a nice uh, cloth flag there, the Japanese flag as well. But unfortunately, this was not included in the typical Classic Superstars packaging we know and would love. It was a boxed exclusive. Really did miss the mark for me. I was a little bit disappointed it did do that. Uh, in this big window box here, it's a nice enough thing, but it doesn't feel Classic Superstars. And I gotta say, there's no Classic Superstars logo on here. So a lot of people say, this isn't Classic Superstars. It doesn't count. But to me, it is the same Yokozuna that we've seen before. So uh, it's got a paint variation, much like Roddy Piper had, but it is a Jax Classic Superstars Yokozuna figure. The back, they're cross-selling Classic Superstars stuff. So to me, this is one of those ones that gets grandfathered in as well and that's what i'm going to do with this yoko zuna but we've got the big box on the front one of 1800 just like the piper ringsidefest.com looking really really nice right there yoko with his checkerboard pattern kimono looking nice got yoko on the side yoko on the side and like i said cross sell on the back promoting all the classic superstar stuff and of course i do have this already loose out of the package ready to go you got Yoko here. It looks just like Yoko. Uh, some gripes with this that we'll talk about in a second, but you do get the flag. We saw a few flags over the years. We saw the Canadian flag. We saw the Union Jack flag. Uh, did we ever see the American flag in the Class Superstars line? I don't know if we did. Oh, we did with Sergeant Slaughter. I think we did one time. Uh, but a nice flag there with Yoko Zuna. And then you get down to the figure here. Same articulation that Roddy Piper figure would have. Head's going to go back and forth, uh, all that. That's the one thing I had the biggest issue always with this Yoko Zuna figure. Huge, big body on Yoko. It does work for him, I always did think. But the, what didn't work for me is this small little peanut head. He needed a bigger head. Uh, this head was just far too small. Uh, I don't know. It just always threw this figure off a little bit for me. But it is Yokozuna. It's going to be the same thing, except we do get the white and red underneath instead of the red and black that we got with the two-pack release and the single card release. So there is a point of difference here, and I do like that. Uh, they made it change. They didn't just throw a kimono on here and said, let's call it a day at that. They gave us a little bit more, including the flag as well. So that did work for me. But a very good-looking Yokozuna. I wouldn't say it's great. In one of these days, who knows, maybe in the future. Uh, it might already be up by the time the majority of people watch this video. We might do a top 5 or a top 10 Yokozuna figures of all time video. I think there's enough figures to warrant at least a top 5 here on the channel. But a very good Yokozuna. I just wouldn't call it absolutely great. Uh, I just really wish it was in the traditional classic Superstars packaging. I think it would have really helped a lot of people like this figure a lot more. Would have looked better presenting-wise with all the other classic Superstars superstars and things like that and technically it's not a class superstars because it doesn't say classic superstars it doesn't have the logo on it but to me i'm grandfathering it in as yoko takes the header but what say you guys are you grandfathering this yokozuna into your collection as a classic superstar i'd be very curious to hear that let me know in the comments down below of course you made it this far you might as well like the video subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell and don't forget about patreon your best way to support the channel you get early access to videos like this bonus content exclusive content q and a's you name it, a lot going on on the old Patreon channel. And you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Rowdy Roddy Piper, Yoko Zuna, Ringside Collectibles, and the Ringside Fest, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.